Hi guys, welcome to the second part of the tutorial on Steel Software Tool. In first part, we have talked about how to create a new project. In this part, we are going to talk about how to create a source file, how to add that source file in the project, and how to compile it. So these three things we will cover in this part of this tutorial. So now first we are going to create a source file. So creating the source file, for start opening the short, uh, source file, what you do is we have to go to file and you can say open. Open we have to say when we, if we have a source file already written somewhere, if we are going to write the source code now, then you have to go to new. So I'll click on new, it'll open a editor box here. I can do the same with this button also. If I click this button, it is a shortcut for opening a new file. Now what I have to write, do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a program, uh, assembly language code. We can do programming in two languages here. That is one is assembly language and another one is embedded C. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to write a code in assembly language for a small application. Uh, like from using a switch, we are going to control the LED. If we switch on the, put the switch on, you can uh, on the LED. If we put the switch off, it will off the LED. So I'm going to write a program for this. So people who are uh, familiar with the programming of assembly language, programming assembly language will find it familiar. Those who are not, they can learn the programming and do the same thing. Okay. So I'm going to write the program for that. So this is, you can also learn how to program. A small program you can learn how to write it. So we are going to write the start, we are starting the program with org00s. Why we write org00s is, uh, the, our program's first time will be located at memory location 00. H. Now we have to set up a input pin. So for making a pin as input, we have to set that pin. So I'm going to set it as it is B. I'm going to use the pin as E0.0. I'm going to use the output pin as E0.1. So I have cleared this pin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the input pin. For that I'm going to use J and B. Jump is no bit. 0.0 and jump to L1. So 0.0 is 0. Let's jump to L1. At L1, what I'm going to write is set D P 0.1. So if 0.0 is 0, then P 0.1 will be set to 1. After setting it to 1, it should go back again to check the input. So I will say uh, label this line as L2. Now if it is 0 it will go to L1. If P0.0 is 0, it will jump to L1. If not 0, then what it will do will clear P0.1. Once it clears this P0.1, it should again go back to check the input. So again we say clear. SDMP L2. Now our program is done. I will put this and end. So we have ended the program. Now we are going to save this program. So for saving this program, we have to click this button save or else we can go to file and we can go to save or save as. So I have to save this program. So again, this program is going to be stored at the same location where you stored your so that if you want, you can create a new folder here for your source file, source source, and uh, I can uh, save it there. Now I'm going to uh, give a name to this. So project file, you can give any name. Now extension we have to select as ASM. If this is a C program, then we have to select the extension as .c. Here I'm going to select the extension as .asm. I will save the code. Or the program file is saved. Now what I will do is I have to go to the source group one. In source group one, I have an option like add files to group source group one. Here I have to select file types as ASM source. Here this is my program. I'm going to add this program to my source group. It is added here. This program. I have to select the program and I'm going to compile this program. For compiling, we have a button here called Translate current file. You click this button and it will compile my program. So it's assembling the program basically. So it will say zero errors, zero warning. Next we will cover in 